When I was in elementary school, I quickly knew that I wanted to be successful. I grew up in the same house all my life, and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with that. But um, really, it was, I really wanted to transcend my parents' definition that they had of success. How many of you have laid in bed at night thinking, why am I here? What's my purpose? How can I be better? I've done that too. Grant Cardone is a New York Times best-selling author, and he has a radio show and a, and a podcast. And he also has founded four companies. He used to be a used car salesman, and I guess you could say he started from the bottom, and now he's there because I'm not there yet. So he is he's the one that taught me being obsessed is good. Being obsessed with the right things is okay. Grant Cardone has inspired me through becoming one of the most successful entrepreneurs, being a family man among his riches, and being obsessed with success. I heard about him from a friend, and so I decided to go see what he was all about. I went to his webpage, and on the About Him tab on Grant's personal website, I was reading about him, and it turns out he just wants to help companies grow their business exponentially. He owns and operates four companies that bring in around $100 million in sales annually. So if you think about it, that's around $400 million in sales each year. According to entrepreneur.com, he's also an international sales expert. As previously mentioned, he's a best-selling author as well. And I realize the influence that he has. I want that kind of influence one day. There are more people like Grant Cardone, and I want to be among the top like that. I want to be that big one day. His influence, though, doesn't just spread to people like you and I. It also spreads at home with his family. He has a wife and two daughters. And Grant said something in the book that he wrote titled, Be Obsessed or Be Average, that success is so much sweeter than family. And that made me realize how much my family has helped me along the way to get where I am today. And I quickly noticed that if I can't provide for the ones that have provided for me, then really, what am I doing this for? In an interview found on Forbes titled Grant Cardone, Why Obsession Trumps Passion When It Comes to Success, Dan Schwabel asked, what does it mean to be obsessed or to be average? If it's a choice you make, what do you do if you choose to be success obsessed? Grant gives a really long response, and pretty much what he says is, you're going to get labeled as so many negative things as far as he was labeled as ADHD, ADD, OCD, which those are really things, those are really real things, but instead of just accepting them and pouting about it, he embraced them. He embraced them and he said, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna prove everybody wrong. And instead of having that negative connotation towards those associations, he went and he realized that we all have our our doubts. We all have our fears and worries. So and a society labeled or just has a bunch of labels on them, I personally think it's just redundant. Grant also said in that interview, obsession is the fuel that gives you a can't quit, won't quit, accelerated the full ambition inside of you, and it grows as you grow regardless of your age. And I think that's pretty cool. In an article found on Fortune titled The Key to Being a Great Entrepreneur, Grant also talks about being obsessed a little bit more. He gives three tips in, in this answer. He says, Rule number one to stay hungry is beat the sun up. Rule number two is never be normal. And number three is define your purpose. I really think this is awesome because this has really shaped the way I live today. So I realize that Grant Cardone is what I want to be one day. I don't want to be like Grant Cardone. I even want to be ahead of Grant Cardone. I don't want to stop. He taught me that it's okay to be a family man among your riches, and that's possible. And he taught me that being obsessed is okay. So in conclusion, I'll leave you with one question. What are you doing to get better? Thank you.